Shalom Vrocha. Greetings and blessings. There is an amazing book that is called Sefer Yetzira. Um, the book of making and the book of uh, creating. This book, um, we're not sure who wrote that book long, long time ago. It was written. There are a few assumptions of who is the real true author of that book. One of the assumptions though, is that the main book was written by Abraham Avinu. Our holy first of the believers father. And um, the book itself is very deep, maybe too deep to read. It's like really just uh, like uh, confusing. Um, even just like uh, to try to read the simple, like the simple words of the book itself. It's like, uh, it's very hard to understand. First of all, I'll show you the, the shape of the page. So that is the main book. That is like the part of the book. And mm, on the sides you have explanations. Here you have explanation of the Raived, a real true righteous man who wrote explanations on this book and the Ramban wrote here his explanations on that side. And again, like when you move, so now you see like here you have other righteous people who wrote other righteous people who wrote their thoughts on that book, on that piece of, of, of book. And like you move to the next page. So it's like in that next page and next page and next page, those are still explanations on that small piece over there. And only here we're getting to the next part. And so it's a very complex book. Um, and what that I wanted to uh, learn with you is the introduction um, of the Rived. The Rived, um, like we said, um, one second, the Rived, like we said, wrote um, an explanation on this wonderful book. And except for the explanation that you wrote to explain every word and word um, in this wonderful book, he also wrote an introduction, um, introduction to this wonderful book. So the Ravad, the Ravad, that um, Ravad is the capital name uh, letters of his name, Rabbi Abraham ben David, Rabbi Abraham ben David, Ravad, um, and also when you say. Ravad, those are capital letters of another combination of words that is Rosh Av Beit Din, a head of Jewish courthouse. So um, he was a real, real genius, a real holy, uh, pure, righteous man. Um, and, and here he is explaining um, some concepts for us to have foundations and um, to understand and to relate somehow to this uh, book. So this is a book of making. What does it mean? The book of making, the book of creation, the probably Avraham Avinu is explaining to us how Hashem himself created the world. And the Rava, the Rava, he saw that it's not going to be um even logic to start uh, just by uh, by explaining the book he realized that we need introductions and explanations for this um to create foundations for this uh, for this book uh, to be understandable for the readers at least somewhat um so i will uh, we will start with reading the 
the final part of the introduction because really also the introduction it's like 20 pages of long double lines and double sides texts on every page and it's very hard to understand and i'm not gonna kill myself for that for now um but there is one um final part in conclusion for his introduction before reading the book of making and that is the part that i want to read for you and if you want to read something else you can go ahead and do it elsewhere happily but uh, with me we're gonna read this introduction so this final part of the introduction so he's saying after finishing writing the introduction after that hashem Barach zikani and gave me the merit after that Hashem Yitbar gave me the merit that I completed um, 50 gates of understanding based on what that I received from my rabbis may their um, soul rest in peace I will come back to explain the 32 paths based on the path of Kabbalah the deep secret of um, Torah as I received from my rabbis, may they, their, may they rest in peace. So he's explaining, from the mouths of the ancient righteous ones that were mannering their lives based on the path of true Kabbalah, like we found, that there are 32 wonder paths of wisdom that the sages from the generation of the Mishnah accepted and they can be seen from the principles of their Torah that they explained and shared with us, the oral Torah. In their trials means in their explanations and in their arguments that the ancestors, their rabbis, were known angels, messengers from in front, from in from or from in front, like it's written in Hebrew, milifne, from standing, they were messengers, I mean, they've been sent from, standing in front of the king, the holy king, may his name be raised and known, to teach them, so the ancestors were holy angels that were sent, angels does not mean angels with wings and a glowing ring above their heads, like in uh, foreign faiths, um, hallucinations, just angels means messengers. So you have flesh and bones messengers with holy soul, and you have godly messengers with no bodies. That those are the angels. But the meaning of the word malach means angel is a messenger. When it's written on Yaakov, our father. Vaishlach Yaakov Malachim, that Yaakov sent angels. So Rashi over there mentioning Rashi is one of the maybe most important uh, commentary on the Torah. He said Malachim Mamash, real angels. So over there you see that Yaakov had the power to send real angels, but if Rashi is mentioning that, that in that case those were real angels, means that in different cases, when it's written angels, malachim, vayishlach malachim, they sent angels, so it might be messengers, like human beings. So Hashem sent those messengers, the ancestors, to teach the sages and to educate them in the paths of the ancient wisdom. And that what the owners of Kabbalah, may they rest in peace, said. And now we're receiving here a small review explanation on the angels. And he's saying the angel, um, the rabbi of the first man of Adam Harishon, his name was Raziel. The rabbi of Shem. So now we are talking about who, what was the path for Kabbalah to be revealed? Like who? who taught the 32 paths of wisdom to the ancestors and from the ancestors to the huge uh, sages. So 
The rabbi of Adam Rishon was an angel named Raziel the angel. Raziel means the secret, the one who holds the secrets of God. The angel, the rabbi of Shem, Shem, won, um, Shem was, um, there, there was a yeshiva um, that was established by Shem and Ever, that they were two ancient righteous people in first generations. Shem was the son of Noach, and they opened maybe probably the first yeshiva, like people came to learn over there. And it's written on Yaakov Avinu, that Yaakov learned in the yeshiva of Shem and Ever um, for 14 years. So um, the name of his rabbi, the rabbi of Shem, was an angel that his name is not a name that I am allowed to mention in Hebrew. And I will just translate its meaning to English. Beauty of God. Beauty of God. That was the name of the rabbi, the angel rabbi of Shem. The rabbi of Avraham. Again, I'm not allowed to mention that name. We are taking very seriously um, the Jewish rule, the biblical rule, not to mention the name of Hashem in vain. And therefore, not only that we are very careful in mentioning the name of Hashem in vain, God forbid, just also names that were never pronounced by um, righteous and known people, and we were guided to keep them in secret or just to think about them and not to mention them in our invoice. Um, we are making sure not to mention those names. There are many names that we are allowed to use and we don't need to jump into places that um, are too high. Like it's written, things that are too great, you should not uh, investigate. It's okay. This is a name that we are not allowed to pronounce. We're not pronouncing, we're happy. We believe that Hashem wants us not to pronounce those names. Those are aeroplanes that are flying in the sky, up the sky, above the land of Israel, that required protection. The land of Israel required protection. So the name of the angel rabbi of Abraham, our father, was, and I will translate it to English, Justice of God. The rabbi of Yitzchak was Raphael. Here we have a name of an angel, Raphael, the one that the angel that delivers healing, healing from Hashem. That's the meaning of the name Raphael. And that is the name of an angel that we are allowed to pronounce. The rabbi of Yaakov, another name that we're not allowed to mention, Wonders of Hashem is his translation. Rabbo Shel Yosef, the rabbi of Yosef, the son of Yaakov, Gavriel, Gavriel is the power of Hashem or the strength of Hashem. Rabbo Shel Moshe Rabbeinu, the rabbi of Moshe Rabbeinu, the name of this angel is not allowed to be pronounced completely. And when people want to pronounce that name or to mention him, so they're saying the first half of that name. So the first part of this name is Matat, the angel Matat, Malach Matat. But really, to the next part um, of the name um, that is spelled Resh Vav Nun, and we say that Ron, like R-O-N, um, there is a meaning in Hebrew that is happiness. So like being joyful. So the rabbi of Moshe, his name was Matat, and the additional part that we just mentioned, happiness, like joy, and he is um, the angel that is known to be first Chanoch, as Chanoch. Chanoch, the man of God that became an angel. I have few videos about him. You can write Chanoch or Enoch. I don't know how you spell it in English. And, and the words Rav Dror, R-A-V-D-R-O-R -R, on YouTube. And you're going to find a lot of information about him. A very important person that became an angel. 
the rabbi of Eliyahu, Elijah the prophet, were not allowed to say his name as well. Um, and the meaning of the name of that angel is or my word is dedicated to God or are circ I circumcised myself to God. Two words that has certain similarity in their meaning or that I like controlled my speech or that I have been obligated to the covenant for God. Those were the rabbis who gave the true knowledge of Kabbalah, angels that gave the true knowledge of Kabbalah to our ancestors, that our ancestors gave the wisdom to the sages. Each and every one of those angels was giving Kabbalah to his student in a book or by heart to make him wiser and to make him stand and understand all the futures. And when the real true scholars of Kabbalah invest, continued to investigate in the core of reality, they said, and that was their conclusion, and for that, this wonderful introduction that we're going to read soon um, is coming for, their conclusion is, Kesheallah bedaato, when Hashem wanted, to create some object, something, he brought down by the power of his name from the essence of that object, of that will of his, 32 paths, wonder paths of wisdom. And the ancient and the ones who made those investiga that investigation called them paths of wisdom, of clarity. And the ancient sages, people with heart, the straight and humble that were, that were mannering, or that were behaving ba based on those 32 paths on the way of Kabbalah by the way that was accepted from their angel rabbis, from the principles of their Torah in their trials and in their arguments, they guided us that the ancestors were carving ways, opening paths, plenty paths to stand on those ways that are wonder of wisdom. That the angel that we mentioned, that we're not allowed to mention his name, justice of God, gave to Avraham Avinu in the tradition of the covenant. And those are those paths in a correct way. So the next part will be to explain the 32 paths that when Hashem wanted to create something, He brought down the light from His desire through 32 paths, 32 channels of light that we now going to read a description of each and every one of those paths, short description, just like a general title, topic to those channels. And when Hashem's will went through those 32 paths of wisdom, when they finished coming down to this world, they have been revealed in their shape and in their um, nature based on Hashem's desire. So Hashem took His desire and passed it through 32 paths of wonder wisdom. Lamed Bet Netivot Chokhmah, 32 paths of wisdom. And the outcome of that journey of Hashem's desire through the paths, the 32 paths, is the object or any situation that we can see here on earth. Thank you.